Okay, now we've animated some boxes, but we can also do a cool thing with the animation component. We can animate the camera for the scene. Now the camera is kind of like the user perspective, right? It's what you're looking out from. Um, the camera starts out at the origin point of the scene. Its position is zero, zero, zero. That's called the origin point. And by default, A-frame, like any A-frame scene, any of your websites uh, have a camera, right? This is why when you move to uh, one of your sites, you, you can see, right? You can move it around. This is your camera that you're looking through. But um, we want to animate it to make a nice little like flyover effect. So I want the camera to kind of swoop in. I want the view. It's kind of like a flyover effect, right? When you're like looking at something or like on an airplane, you're looking down and it's flying over. I want to make that effect by animating the position of the camera. Now I will warn you, if someone is looking at your site in VR, and you've got a fast animation on the camera where it's like zooming around, they might get sick, <laughs> just straight up. Um, they might throw up, right? It's a, it's a very disorienting feeling to have your perspective moved around when you're not actually moving around. So be cautious, right? Um, that's just a little tip. All right, now, as I said, uh, when you make a scene in A-Frame, a camera gets automatically created. There's like a default camera. But because we want to animate the camera, we need to be able to see the camera in our code, right? We need to be able to see it in our HTML so that we can mess with it, so we can put an animation on it. So to do this, first, just go ahead and make an empty um, entity and uh, by using this A-Entity element. And an entity is just an element in your A-Frame scene. Uh, it's just kind of like a blank generic thing that is ready to be modified. So it's not going to do anything exciting yet, but just go ahead and make it, right? We've got the opening tag and the closing tag, and then go ahead and give the entity the camera component. This is one of those components that comes with A-Frame, right? You can see it in the documentation. Here's camera, and we're going to put it on this entity. Now, if you remember, uh, in your scenes, you are able to click and drag to look around, and you can use the keyboard using the WASD keys to move around the camera in the scene. That's because the default camera has components on it that control that behavior, right? One of them is called WASD controls, and this one that lets you rotate the camera is called look controls. And you can see both of those in here. We do want to make sure our camera still does that. So go ahead and also add uh, those components to your camera. Just with, uh, you can just put the name of the component right there, right? WASD controls and then look controls. So now we've got a camera in our code that we can control. And it still lets you uh, click and drag to look around and you can still use the keyboard to move it around. So that's good. Now it's got a default position, as I said, of zero, zero, zero. But because I want to make this flyover effect on our scene, I want to actually start the camera behind the scene, right? I want to give it a position kind of farther back. So I'm going to give it a position of zero, three, and 20, okay? If you remember, stuff in front of the camera has a negative value for this third number. So if this third number has a positive value, it's actually going to be behind uh, kind of behind the scene. Okay, so I have done that, and let me show you what the scene looks like now. Okay, look, I'm kind of see how I'm far away from the action because I put the camera way back, way back here. But now it's ready to be animated, right? Now I want to animate it so that it automatically, kind of automatically, just sort of like moves forward. So you already know the skills uh, that you need to do this just drop an animation uh, component onto your camera entity. And for this, uh, I want to animate its position. So the uh, this property, the one called property, I'm going to set its value as position. For the destination, the two property, I'm going to do two and then colon. And for the value, I want just zero, three, zero. Um, and then the duration of the animation, which is how much time it takes to go from the beginning to the end, I'm going to set to be 10,000 milliseconds. 
Okay, now if you're looking on the page, the animation will already have happened. So you can refresh the page to see it. But I'm just going to navigate to it separately right here. So you can see what it looks like. See how it's zooming? I'm not touching anything, I promise. And it's just zooming right along. Right? It's doing like a little flyover. It's like swooping in to the scene. That's because of that animation that we just put on the camera. Okay, so I know this was a bit of a whirlwind tour. We're getting into some more advanced stuff here, you know, setting, setting components with multiple properties uh, and so forth. The code can look a little bit confusing if you're not used to it. So don't be afraid to ask questions in the online community. For the challenge, I want you to build some animations into your website, um, whether it's a Sketchfab model that you brought in that you've animated with Animation Mixer, or I really encourage you to try to make some of your own animations just with that animation component, right? Make something move around, make something rotate, make something's color change. Add a few different animations to different elements in your scene. When you're done, if you've made a cool animation, even if it's just small, even if it's simple, um, in my book, anything, any animation is like kind of cool. So feel free to share what you've made uh, to the Frame Academy Gallery, which is kind of a place where we're going to be gathering our work so we can check it out and learn from it. Uh, there's a little link down here where you can do that. As always, uh, if you'd like to support the creation of more of these projects, more of these tutorials, there's a little button down here, Support Frame Academy. Um, every little bit counts. Okay. Um, Thank you very much. Congratulations if you've made it this far and if you've been able to make sense of uh, any of this stuff. Um, components are really important and as we move forward we're going to use them a lot and as I said uh, you're going to be writing your own components as well. All right, uh, good luck and hopefully we'll see your work in the Frame Academy Gallery.